Let me know when you're ready for the intro. We've started, my guy. This Hi is hot. ho everyone. My <laughs> name's Mr. Fr we also roasted a bunch of different outfits on Fallout's channel. So if you want even more degenerate fashion critique, his video will be linked in the description. This is the guardian who just discovered colors for the first time, and he's just kind of <laughs> easing his way in. What is going on with the with the red shoulders? Fallout, you know about the angel special, right? A bunch of different colors and a bunch of armor pieces that don't match. When you just vomit a bunch of colors onto the palette. Right, right, right. It's like someone who heard of it and then tried to do it from memory. My problem with your critique, Dado, is that you said red shoulders when they're clearly blue shoulders. Care to explain? Well, what, what's the part between your neck and your shoulder? Your traps. Well, I don't know that. Mr. I'm married to a fitness guru. Can I get an anatomy check, please? Don't make me break out a world map, okay? <laughs> Give me a body map and I'm all over it. But a world map, we are going to have some problems. This was my guardian. Okay, so all good. Thank you for your criticism. <laughs> Dude, this is your guardian? Did a house fall on a witch and you ganked her shoes, bro? <laughs> Why? That is actually really fair. I didn't know you were going to undercover boss this with this uh, guardian pick here, Jess. <laughs> Here's my question. Why? I wanted something pastel, but fun. That was the vibe. It's the shoulders. Or sorry. The trapezius. Yeah, the trapezium. Latin for the phrase, oh God, my back hurts. From carrying all of Jess's content. <laughs> this was Cacus. Naturally, we have <laughs> Boomer Dad discovers the selfie camera for the first time. I will say what I can see of it, it's not bad. This is every tourist who's trying to take photos on their iPad. This is my dad. Man, does he love bringing the iPad as a camera. He loves it. <laughs> That chest is smoother than my chest. It's like when you have a corporate business meeting at three, but you have the death metal concert at six. <laughs> and there's no time to go home. God damn it, Dado. You don't even make comedy videos. I hate you. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, I like this. Like a forgotten iron giant? My first thought was the bouncer outside the nightclub in the lost city of Atlantis. I don't even have anything like jokey to say about it. It's so tough to get green and like brown into people's looks, but like... Dude. To me, this is the boot-licking henchman that stands behind the main villain in every TV show. I, I want to know why. Why is the head blue? <laughs> it's too mismatchy. Like, you ran out the door too quick. You have, like, oh, one purple sock and one yellow sock. Like, they grabbed the wrong helm on the way out. <laughs> the final thing I'll say about this one is that if you zoom out far enough, clitoris. What? I, okay, I see what you mean. Fallout just exposed himself, saying what, so all good, we'll let that wow. slide. I can't find the clitoris, Jez. <laughs> That's not Jez's problem. But also, it is a mystery box, we can all agree, so that is fine. Two words, excessive force. Is that his robot porn star name, excessive force? <laughs> <laughs> this screams to me, if you weren't recording me with an iPhone right now, I would be participating in a hate crime. You know those, those shoulders with, like, the points coming off in the back right there? It reminds me of the episode of The Office where Dwight comes in as Recyclops. I want to see a Recyclops. Cyclops Titan. This is Ooh. Pigeon who became sentient and now works part-time as an assassin. <laughs> I see that vibe very much. Dude, yeah. this is great. Wow, I can't believe I'm really at this location in real life. It's much more pleasant than you'd think. Look at this CD case. It's nice, isn't it? But now it's cracked and yucky. The cracked version is your hairy balls. You need Manscaped's ultra smooth package to shave your dirty little CD case, don't you? Look at this razor. The lubrication strips are wider than the pay gap between us and the wealthy 1%. Even wider than my innate potential versus the things that I actually accomplished in life. I literally just used the lawnmower 4.0 to trim my beard, mustache, and butthole. One of those was a lie and I didn't touch my mustache. It has a flashlight. It's literally an iPhone. You can be objectively more handsome than you are now with a bit of trimming. And you may as well do it with Manscaped as I have for years. So to get 20% off, plus free international shipping, plus two free gifts, go to manscaped.com and use code JAZZ. Sponsored by Manscaped. Please tell me that either of you have seen Avatar The Last Airbender. Of course. Dado's not answering, which is alarming. Talk to Jazz on that one. Ooh. As I've said, I don't believe in anime. When uh, Zuko puts on the mask and becomes the blue spirit, spoilers, by day, this guardian is like a politician, you know what I mean? And then by night, puts on the pigeon mask and goes out and just beats the shit out of people. <laughs> I get that 100%. And that was such no. a specific reference, but we'll throw some B-roll up. <laughs> and I think it's gonna land for people. Dad, it was literally one of the greatest shows of all time. No, so I've heard. I've literally seen Yu-Gi-Oh, Avatar The Last Airbender, and now Cyberpunk Edge Runners. That's my whole history. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, actually, that's not surprising for you at all. Whoa, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. When I get sleep paralysis, this dude is at the foot of my bed. This is um, Saint-14 on his way to Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you pick all good ones? How am I supposed to talk trash about this? Look at this one. 
Too scary. Four out of 10, too scary. <laughs> Got him. You have the in-game screenshot. Yeah. You're showing each piece of armor. You're showing all the shaders and stuff. I love it. This is the only screenshot I will ever accept. You heard him. Uh, no, I mean like this Titan right here. Like it was- That one specifically, okay. This is the guy in charge of the platoon of stormtroopers who went a little rogue and started chopping up the villages. Just went a little too hard. I'm getting a different vibe. They're guarding the door to some bunker. These two guys are talking about the most random bull crap ever. What's the convo? Hit me with it. So, when's your next PT? Yo. Oh, <laughs> the Empire cut back again. Right, we're invading some new planet next month. I had a vacation planned, but Sith Lord fuck nuts pushed up the invasion. I can't go to Endor anymore. Oh, it's a bummer. How did Janine take that? Still not talking to me. Meanwhile, this entire conversation going on, heroes are like, what do we do? This is the SIVA subclass that people imagine that we will never get because it would <laughs> never make sense in the game. Dude, you are crushing so many dreams right now, Dado. It's not going to happen, anybody. Speaking of SIVA, for this guy, it's a race between SIVA and obesity to see who can kill the guardian first. I'm noticing a lot of titans being selected. The titans came out strong for this one. I couldn't find many hunters. God, this is a beefy boy. It's kind of badass. Yeah, like if pirates still existed in like 2220. Now you did throw out a few numbers there, which I will take as a form of disrespect. You know, I don't do well with numbers. 2220. You heard what I said. 200 years from now. There we go. Thank <laughs> you for the simplified explanation. Seven of your lifetimes from now. <laughs> Okay, now you're just flexing the fact that you did that math in your head. This is if they put the can from the Pepsi ad with Kylie Jenner in Destiny. <laughs> the googly eyes. It's so sleek. This dude's ready to hop into SRL, but he's been standing in line for five years. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's also not coming back. Why are you doing this to me, Dad? It's not. A man can dream. This is the teenager telling his mom that it's not just a face. This dude is going straight from Iron Banner into like the insane clown posse mosh pit. This is a guy who took Iron Banner a little too seriously too. <laughs> oh, the insane clown is a good description. I can now see him in every clown horror movie. Well, are we talking about ICP or are we talking about something else? Yeah, I was going ICP. They don't dress like this. They're trashy, but not horror. I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm about to get entire clown army on my ass. The clowns are coming for you, bud. Sorry to any clowns in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the clown. Dad, that was for you, bud. Thank you. This is going to be a specific reference if you haven't seen it. RIP, the bodybuilders who are injecting oil into their muscles without lifting any weights. The people who are doing what? You've never seen that fallout? Like inject their bicep with like a bunch of fluid. How would you do that? Because you're dumb. Fallout. Prepare your eyes. Oh my God, bro. Yep, I, I can see it. It's not the chest piece I would have gone with. This guy's got dreads that really need to be washed. What are those supposed to be? Look, I like the color though. I like the neck. Can I say that I like the neck? <laughs> I'm not here to kink shame. It's Christmas time, it's snowing, and this is the ex-heroin addict on his way to an AA meeting. This hunter is literally me, bro. <laughs> what? You gotta eat a sandwich and hit the gym, buddy. A gym is not gonna fix that face, okay? <laughs> I've tried. I feel like I'm looking at a homeless robot. This is someone who sacrificed their fashion because they wanted to play PvP for just a little bit longer. And also do heroin. The frat guy at the party who's shirtless, but also wearing hot pink because he's in touch with his feminine side. I don't know why you're talking about me like this, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll let it slide. It's so aggressive. I wish the chest piece matched a little bit better. It's so tough to take off Hoyle right now. I understand, but... When you really want to make your Guardian's fashion fall under one theme, but you're a slave to the meta. This is like a hive that like found a Vex on the ground and wanted to try it on. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy who used to be in the military, but now has PTSD and is working on a construction site. Wow, that's so specific. That's very specific. <laughs> Why does he have to have PTSD? Tell me I'm wrong. Jesus. <laughs> what if he just came home to his regular job. You don't just come home from the military without PTSD, right? Yeah, this guy's a foreman for sure. Orange is tough. Orange is tough to make happen. He could also be like the local town crossing guard. Lies to everyone, says that he served in the military, but he really didn't. He's like that guy, you know? That is good, Fallout. Three words. Inverse prolapsed anus. Oh my god. I don't like this. You don't like this. This worm dick coming out of the shoulder, the only the one shoulder. I don't like this. The worm dick. I think it's very well put together. The raid chest piece too. All those parts are like moving and stuff and it looks like a wood chipper, but for flesh, <laughs> you just walk up to someone and they get sucked into your chest. You're like, <gasps> There is a deliberate choice to take this guardian and tilt them. They're facing me directly. Just looking into your soul. No matter where you move, he follows you. The words sucked up by his chest is just never not going to be funny. <laughs> now, this guy is an extra on set, and the role he's playing is a hive tomb ship, but he's just mid costume change. It's like 10 degrees outside. I, I don't even know what to say. It's a lot, isn't it? His mother dressed him to go to school. It's very cold. And he's still got like 15% rebellion in him. He's like, no, I'm keeping the helmet, but I'll do whatever else you want. <laughs> the mother knows. 
knows that in a week's time, that helmet will be in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, honey, you can keep it. If Boba Fett was a bounty hunter from Planet of the Apes. God, this is so good. It's just like the hints of blue as well. <laughs> you like? The year is 3069. <laughs> the Savannah needs a new Lion King, but he needs guidance. Rafiki is long dead, but we can bring him back. We have the technology. <laughs> And there's the one side to saying, guys, should we really do this? This feels unethical. But Scar Jr. 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 has taken over the Pride Land again. He lifts up Simba, but then his like arms extend out and they're like giant <laughs> robot arms. And Simba's actually a giant bomb. He just <laughs> slams it. Just no, nah, eh, 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 and just fucking takes off. That is a banger movie script, if ever I've heard one. The worst Vex Goblin spy trying to infiltrate our ranks. <laughs> the opposite. I was going to say, this is us trying to infiltrate the Vex. This is the dumbest guardian at the tower trying to be like, hello, fellow Vex. They're just talking back in ones and zeros. Guardians, am I right? Hate them. Always <laughs> yeah, hated them. They're the worst. Can't figure them out. And I cut whatever I said. This was so much better. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> this is the guy that gets baked right before going to class. This feels like me when I got face masks from Razer and I was trying to walk around being like the super cool, like, look at my LED light up filter walking into the grocery store. This is what I felt like. This is Keitel's son, but this is him right before he's disgraced and dishonorably discharged for sexual misconduct in the military. For what? Wow, what is with all <laughs> this <laughs> military <laughs> slander? Dark stories, bro. I was waiting for Keitel's son, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> this is Keitel dressing her son Kyle for like a reception at the Cabal base. Oh, mom, I don't want to wear it. But everyone is going to be wearing something exactly like this. You're going to fit in. This is very important to me. How about this? If you dress up, we'll go out for ice cream after. Yay, all right, mom. Khajiit has wares if you have silver. <laughs> What's his face from Tekken? Like got a new $5 DLC outfit that you could buy. Dude from Tekken gets teleported into like full metal alchemist right now. Why is it orange? <laughs> this dude is Garfield trying to sneak into a military base. Tony the Tiger's son. Dad, I don't want to get into cereal. I want to serve my country. <laughs> I don't know what this look is supposed to be. I think it's interesting, and I'm not a huge fan of the color scheme. I'm really not starting on the right foot. <laughs> like, I don't like the colors. I don't know what the hell this is, but I like it. I don't think I've ever seen a warlock like that ever in my life. This is a robot cat butler. They go meow, beep, beep, and they walk into the kitchen. And they just make you dinner. It does look like a cat. The butler robot is extremely accurate. Bumblebee from Transformers that works part-time chopping meat at the local deli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I can see that. The droid in the background of every... Like, like spin-off Star Wars show, who's also a trash can. I just think Jez yeah. doesn't like the Wildwood helm. Anytime the Wildwood <laughs> helm has popped up, he talks mad shit. <laughs> You're in traffic in the future and you pull up to a construction zone and this guy is like, he's got a little stop sign. Please stop, beep, beep. But then he lifts up your car and throws it on the other side of the street. <laughs> this is the Buzz Lightyear on the shelf who thinks he's unique, but then you zoom out. There's 3,000 Buzz Lightyears identical <laughs> next to him. Yeah. That's the funniest thing you've said tonight, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, my hunter's really edgy. There's like seven other hunters in the mirror. There's no other hunter that looks like me. One of the few hunters I could find was the one hunter that represents all hunters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rich, perverted billionaire from Squid Game. Yeah. Right yeah. Before he gets killed. The number 69 is the most beautiful number. Or whatever cringy dialogue that character had in that show. God, they had some of the most dialogue in a show that I've ever heard. I like it, though. I think you nailed it. Oh, damn. After all that. If that's the vibe they were going for, then you nailed it. Perverted billionaire. <laughs> perverted billionaire. <laughs> At a masquerade party. <laughs> This is the Christmas tree decoration that is now on the run. Sounds like a Tim Burton movie. It's so red, but yet I like it. This guy feels like the guy who would be selling you Christmas trees. He's the robot vendor who kind of takes it off to your to your pickup truck as you're paying. And then what does he say on the way to the car? Happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I like to think he's really vulgar and just like, it's a nice fucking tree you picked out. <laughs> he's got yeah. cigar smoke just puffing out of his face vent. He's just a little too comfortable. <laughs> he's got tenure though. He doesn't care. How do you have tenure as a Christmas tree seller? Don't ask. And you know, I don't know what the word tenure means. So all good. That was disrespectful. <laughs> this is the guy who dual wields katanas in Elden Ring, but also uses summons. This is the guy who will like roll around you nonstop, nonstop, <laughs> but you get one little swipe on him and they back up and heal. <laughs> <laughs> you just slice him for like 33 damage and they're just like, no. 
I'm losing. To me, this is the guy that responds to every Bungie announcement tweet with bring back SRL. I mean, this looks really good though. Interesting. And look, they're even using a piece of blue armor. Dado really likes that when people use blue armor for the fashion. I'm not going to give points just for using blue armor, but if you can pull it off and make it look slick like this, that definitely gets some bonus points. I don't know anything to mean to say about it. Maybe the guy in the tower who gets a little too excited when like Zavala comes over the PA system just to like talk about what? something. It's like, he's talking, he's talking. Shh, shut up, shut up.